I'm going to explain the meanings of the tree dimension ratios. Why is tangent called tangent? Etc. Um, I'm going to explain that there are lots of ways to explain it, and they're not all the same, but this way that I'm about to show you, I think it's the one that's resonated with me the best. Um, so you can decide for yourselves by the end of this lesson whether you like this explanation. There are other ones, but let's just run with this one. So, I've asked you to draw some unit circles. I'm just going to start with my first one, because you'll, you'll see why my second one I need to make some adjustments to it. We know that there is really one trig ratio that is the, um, the granddaddy of them all, where all of the rest of them get their definition, right? Which is the, which is the basic trigonometric function. It's the, the, the main one is really just sine. Everything else is defined from sine, okay? Uh, why is sine called sine? Do you remember? I've explained this to you before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Uh, sine is short for sinusoidal wave, which really just means uh, it's a curved shape that goes up and down. So really, it has to do with the shape when you graph, right? So that shape there, Right? That's what gives sine its name, at least the easiest way I think it's understanding. Okay? Now, we then say, okay, we can also define sine not in terms of triangles only, but also on the unit circle. So if we pick a spot, like say, let's chuck it back here. Okay? If we pick a spot up there, then we can measure the angle from the positive x-axis up to there, call that theta, so I'm going to do that and you should do it too. And now, on the unit circle, I can define the coordinates of that point on the circumference in terms of the trig ratios, right? So firstly, we said sine. What is sine on this particular? Where is it? It's the y coordinate, right? So it's like how high up you are, okay? So I'm just going to write the coordinates up here. So you just said it's the y coordinate, so that's the, the second bit there, right? What's the x coordinate? It's cosine, right? So cos theta, sine theta. And so we define cos theta to be the x coordinate on the unit circle, wherever you are, and sine theta we define to be the y coordinate. So we stop thinking about triangles. You can erase, well, I haven't even drawn my triangle yet. You don't need a triangle to define what those values are. But remembering that this is uh, a radius of one, I can construct that triangle, and it gives me another way of visualizing what is going on. And that'll be the key, as you see, as we progress through here. So sine, for instance, if it's the y coordinate, then the length that it corresponds to is actually this length here to go from the x-axis up. That's what it means, to be vertically at that position. So I wanted to draw, I've got, um, I've got a couple of colors here. This will be very useful if you do have colors. If you don't, you'll survive, but hopefully this will be clearer. I'm going to do sine in blue, okay? So that's this guy here. If the y coordinate is sine, then that means this length here is sine theta, okay? Uh, zero point whatever it happens to be. In exactly the same way, I can construct onto here where cosine of theta is. It's the x coordinate, so where should I draw it? On the x axis from the origin to this point over here. Like so. So this red length here is cos theta. We have successfully formed that right angle triangle upon which all the trig functions, trig ratios, began. But now here's the, the really helpful bit, right? I'm actually going to recolor this in blue. Sine theta is opposite theta. That makes sense, okay? Because sine theta is opposite of hypotenuse after all, and the hypotenuse is just one, okay? But that means I can describe the other, the final angle in this triangle, as the complement of theta. And that's where cosine gets its name. It's the complement of sine. So this angle up here, being the complement of theta, is 90 degrees minus, minus theta. Do you agree? That's what complement means. So let's actually put that in. And I'm going to have these colors matching. So I've got 90 degrees minus theta up there in the corner. So what I want you to pay close attention to, you could draw it on there, but I think it will become very messy very fast. What I want you to notice is sine theta is opposite theta. Cos theta is opposite 
co the complement of theta. Does that make sense? Sine with theta, complement of sine with the complement of theta. Okay, does that make sense? You see how, and we, we wrote a definition for this, right? That cos of 90 minus theta is sine theta. Okay. Uh, it's related, but you don't need the sine rule in, um, in a right angle triangle. Okay, we, only, we start to use that when you've got non-right angle triangle. 